Yeah, so um, welcome to eGroupware integration update. I prepared a few slides and if there is enough time, I'll also show a bit saying a few things live. So eGroupware smart online office, we are almost a complete office in the web browser even with the integration of Collabora Online, but we have a lot of applications like um, groupware applications, but as well Kanban board or uh, ticket system. So there are a lot of integrations in eGroupware video system, rocket chat integration. Um, all these things are available in eGroupware. Today, I'd like to show a bit of the installation and integration of Collabora in eGroupware, a bit our file manager, which is for sure the base where files are stored. And then comes something which is really specific for eGroupware, talking about templates and placeholders in eGroupware, which means every data you store in eGroupware can be used in Office documents. So placeholder of the application gets merged with the template and you get contact information, project information, calendar information, whatever you like, you get into your office documents and can't use them without copy paste. And we're using the SDK conversion API to also allow to directly merge template documents into PDF documents or convert files into PDF or PNG from file manager. Yeah, by default, Collabora gets installed with every eGroupware installation, but you can also skip it during the installation and install it later with one command. Everything is based on Docker. And um, you can also install eGroupware standalone and, or Collabora standalone, which means we have some customers using Nextcloud, for example, but using our Collabora packages on their Nextcloud server, which includes also something what we call Watchtower, and therefore updates automatically if there are new packages available. And you can switch easily between cool and code version. Yeah, there is a configuration for Collabora integrated in eGroupware where you just specify your Collabora server. We are checking a few things that the connection works and you even can directly insert there your license key and the username for admin and password to be able to reach the admin console directly. In that case, you just save. We are inserting everything into the loose video and restarting the container. So everything get automatically restarted. You don't need to edit your files itself, but for sure you can also edit it. For example, if you want to have specific languages for your spell checker, that can still be done. License key user interface and these things can directly be specified in eGroupware itself. So there are preferences where the user can select if specific file types should be opened with or without Collabora. So if I don't want that CSV files get opened with Collabora, I can specify it and then it gets downloaded. Um, I can have a specific merge print handler for our templates if that should be opened with Collabora or downloaded. And same is valid for double click action and which toolbar should be used if it should be the tapped or so the old or the new interface. The language we are giving automatically from the language the user use um, to Collabora, so it opens automatically in the user language. EGroupware file manager acts as a file server and you can mount directories via either SMB WebDAV file system into eGroupware. There are a few examples below. And this also, because we have some customers using Nextcloud and eGroupware. And so you could mount your Nextcloud share, which supports WebDAV into eGroupware. So even if your Nextcloud is not configured to be 
to use Collabora. Um, if it's shared or mounted into eGroupware, you can reach via eGroupware also your next cloud files opening with Collabora online. So everything can be in one place if you, the customer likes to. Yeah, so in general, one thing which is really specific for us, we use the templates, but the templates not only in a way like um, opening for documents, but also in a way of merging data. So an easy solution is here. If I want to have a typical document opened for new documents with my logo in, with my font in, with the borders, I just store it in templates Collabora. And if I create a new document of that type, we are taking the template in um, and open it for the new document with whatever was stored in there. For other applications like a trust book or so, you can use in your file placeholders. So everything, every data, as I mentioned before, can be used. So it doesn't matter if you are talking about the organization name, the full name of the contact or the place where it is or the possibility to use custom fields in e -group where So if I want to create a customer number, which is not there by default in e -group where you just create that field, everything is able for updating. We have a lot of general fields, placeholders being available to create if statements um, for replacing data. All things, these things are part of the placeholder system of e -groupware and all apps can take part in that system. So easy example, I have a document and in the background you see there are some placeholders in. This is a new um, dialogue we inserting in Collabora thanks to Michael and the guys making that available in the last uh, couple of weeks. So you can search in the placeholder of eGroupware, select them, insert them, they get into the document or they can even be filled with contact data. So I can search directly for a contact and then get the value being inserted into my document. And if I save such a template document, merge it with my data, I get a letter fully filled in with the data, replacing wherever the placeholder was, like the customer number now shows up here in my document. The way it works is easy. I'm selecting, for example, a contact. I select insert into document. I select my file so we can deal with different kind of um, MIME types like um, text documents, spreadsheets, but also emails or um, with the SDK conversion API now also merge it directly into a PDF. Then the file gets generated, the placeholder gets replaced and you can work with it. Same is valid for converting. So if I'm having an ODS file, I can click simply convert to PDF and it creates a PDF, stores it there, and you could also mail it or share it to a customer directly. Yeah, as mentioned before, if I'm having a few more minutes, I would like to also show that um, live. So I think we're running a bit over time. Manager, <laughs> file manager. <laughs> and, um, this is a um, document I have been working with and I can simply click here on that placeholder icon.
yeah. You need to click on the right screen and not on the one what I'm sharing. That doesn't help. <laughs> so I'm clicking here. I select, for example, I want something um, with the email. I can select or I want to get the website and I get the according placeholder displayed and it gets inserted at the position I'm at. Or I could even search for a contact like let's search for test. It searches directly in the eGroupware database. I select my company and if there is something, it shows up here. Um, so let's go, for example, for contact full name. And then you see it shows and displays that's the value which is behind test tester. And if I'm inserting, it gets directly into my document and what, whatever position it was. And so I can create my templates itself, but I can also directly insert data. So for example, if I want to insert here something, I can also click on insert directly some contact data like a business address, searching for a user. Um, let's take that one. It shows up here, I say insert, and it inserts it directly into my document at the position I have been. So these are things where you can easily either use templates or use the contact information stored in eGroupware directly um, to Great. get these things. But as mentioned before, it's not only a trust book. We have the That's other apps brilliant. also That's... being available, working with these placeholder system and the data can merge into. Great. I can... It's really good to see it, Bridget. Thank you. Thank you for your demo. I think we're, I think we're out of time. Are we better? Are we? Yes, I will. Uh, thanks, Bridget. Was I'm looking forward to your presentation no tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yes. yeah, we'll show you more need... tomorrow. Yeah, read the comments. People uh, really were getting excited about placeholders. So. <laughs>